Hey guys, and welcome back to Scarlet Sprites. I wanted to take a few minutes today and share a positive experience I had while using protection. Yes, to absolutely no one's surprise, I will occasionally seek out box protectors for some of my more collectible pieces in my video game collection. Even looking back at my holiday wish list, I was saying that I wanted to pick up a box protector for my Master Edition Breath of the Wild on Nintendo Switch. I was finally able to do that on RetroProtection.com, and while I was there, I went through and picked up a few other things. Now, this isn't the first time I shopped at RetroProtection.com. I picked up a few Amiibo boxes back in the day when they were actually worth something. I have protectors around most of my NES games as well as Super Nintendo and N64 games. So while I was picking up the Master Edition box protector, I decided to go through the site and add a few more things to my cart because that Wii U collection is starting to get a little out of hand as well. Here's where the positive vibes come in. I recognized at the bottom of my order confirmation that I had accidentally submitted for two Xenoblade Chronicle box protectors and I only really need one. I also forgot to include a Fire Emblem Warriors box protector that I wanted for Switch. Fire Emblem box protector is a little less than the Xenoblade Chronicle box protector, so I emailed the address at the bottom and asked, hey, could we swap the Xenoblade Chronicle box protector out for Fire Emblem? and don't even worry about the difference, that's my mistake. I got a pretty speedy response back from Dan, who I presume runs RetroProtection.com, who said, yeah, no problem, I'll just pull that out and give you the Fire Emblem box protector and I'll refund you the difference. I was pretty surprised by that. Not just the speed of the response, but the fact that the email itself was actually relatively friendly, that's uh, that's pretty refreshing to get. I, you don't often see that these days. So given that this had gone so well, I thought I'd press my luck one more time be a pain in the ass and ask Dan, hey, I didn't notice anything on your site for Tokyo Mirage Sessions for Wii U. Do you have anything that would fit the collector's edition box for that? Dan replied again really fast and said, hey, yep, I got something that will fit that. It's not a custom fit box like some of the others, but it's the closest I got and I don't plan on doing any special orders for this. I'll toss it in for your order. Couldn't have been any more seamless. This was awesome. I was really surprised and impressed by the customer service at RetroProtection.com. On top of all of this, I got another email back saying, hey, I got this all straightened out, everything's good to go, and I'm gonna ship it out tomorrow. So this all transpired Tuesday night, and here it is, today is Saturday, and everything was delivered this afternoon. So if you've never seen these, these are actually pretty flexible plastic. It's not like an acrylic case or anything like that. All of the box protectors are labeled accordingly, which is really nice. It may sound a little silly, but there's no guesswork that goes into which game goes with which box protector. A lot of the games are somewhat similar in size, and the box protectors themselves, in a lot of cases, have been custom fitted. I think there's ultimately two reasons as to why I picked these up. One is just simply peace of mind. I don't have to worry about shelfware or any of these getting dinged in the course of a move or if I'm just switching up my game room, it's easy to pick them up, handle them. I'm not worried about putting fingerprints or anything like that on them. Secondly, and I know some of you have experienced this as well, friends or family come over and they see something on a shelf or just sitting out in your game room or wherever you have your stuff, something that they remember from their childhood and they want to grab it, pull it across the shelf or pick it up and handle it and in your mind there's just that slight hesitation of oh my god don't damage my box so i guess ultimately both of these points come back to peace of mind but for me it's worth it maybe it's worth it for you maybe you think it's silly but regardless if you are in the market dan at retroprotection.com did a really nice job handling this order and correcting some mistakes that i made on the order not giving me a hard time about it and just taking care of his customers so if you're in the market, I'd definitely recommend checking them out. That's it for today, everyone. Don't forget to like the video. I'm really close to 600 subscribers, and I'd like to try to hit that before February. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that button down below. And remember, don't let your friends handle your stuff and end up with abrasions. Always use protection.